Hey guys, Lil Pump's cousin here. It's Ivalock here. And today I'm back again with a brand new Garage Band video, just like I said. Every single Wednesday, boy, you get the best videos of all time. So, what I've been thinking, what I want to do for this one is I've been seeing a lot of buzz around Lil Pump lately. You know? People have been talking about him. I just go walk down the street, people go, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang. I'm like, bro, that's hashtag lit dogs. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, do a little pump beat again. I know I've done this already, but since the other one did so well, I feel like we should do another one just in the spirit of Lil Pump because he is a living legend. Noise. Alright, so what we're going to start off with are the main leads. So basically, since the beat you're going to be making is going to be a classic. It's going to be a guaranteed classic. You should go into synth classics. And just find something cool. So like, Neon Koto. That sounds cool, right? So let's hear it. It doesn't go hard enough. New Romantic. Nah, dude. Bucky Synth. Polarize. No. No! Yeah, okay, this could be like a new step in direction for Lil Pump. So he's gonna have some samurai strings. So what you gotta do is you gotta get a good tempo like pa, 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 pa. So like 140. So then you gotta come up with a melody. Alright, I got it. That's gonna go hard. You can already tell it's gonna go hard, bro. You hear that, like, burn, burn. Sounds like fantastic, guys. All right, so next, since we're done with that, we gotta add some, ba -ba. nah, nah. A okay, nice choir. So like, so like, Mmm. We need a good dark sound. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Actually, that's just not that good, guys. It's not that. It's so good. Maybe. That's a little better. Doesn't sound in key though, guys. Like, what are those that I use again? Okay, this guy's got to be perfect. You can't have slack in, guys. Okay, so if you wanna, basically, if you wanna have the right sound, you gotta practice until it sounds perfect. So yeah, it's a D. All right, guys. So it's a D. So maybe like just hold down the one note. Sounds good, guys. Yeah, just one note was good enough. And then, um, what we need is a little pluck. Bob, 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 bob. You know? You know what I'm talking about, guys? Alright. Alright, so let's get a pluck. Uh, plucky synth. Okay, that's, yeah, that's good. What the heck? Why is that so... Oh, no, no, no running. Sounds stupid. That sounds better. Hmm. Try that again. Oh, 
sounds good, guys. Then send it out to there. Quantize it. Looping. Quantization. Good. Let's hear it. Actually, you know what we're going to do is we're going to loop it at the 3 mark. Let's loop that. It's like that. Alright, next is the bass. Bass is important. So, what you want to do is if you got to get alchemy synth bass because theirs is better. Do that. I just do the main melody, but in the bass. Perfect, guys. Let's do all that. And now, that's basically all of the keyboard stuff. Next is the drums. So, if you want to get good, you gotta get Trapdoor. It's all the good producers on GarageBand, do, guys. Alright, so. Yeah, I know we're making a little pump beat, but Lil Pump, he likes the nice beats. Okay, so you gotta make sure it's a good beat if you wanna make it for him. So, so you gotta have the good stuff. Alright, so let's record some snares first. That's a good snare, guys. Alright, we loop that. Then kick snare next. Alright, good. Maybe add some drive to it. Maybe make it louder. <laughs> oh, frick, guys. Alright, next is the hi hat. Good. That sounds good. Add some little rolls in there too. Like right at the end. Alright, right there is a good roll area. Not it's too short. Oh frick guys. Alright, 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 let's hear it. Right there. Another one. Sounds good, guys. Alright. Next, you want the claps. Good. Loop that, guys. Next is the open hi hat. Sounds good. Loop that. One more thing you need to add is the little rim shot. Frick, I messed up, guys. Sounds good. Loop that. Alright. Then we got a little crash. Good. Add five. It's good. Alright, that was one more thing. It's not shown here. I don't know why they hide it from us, but I found out about it. So what we're gonna do is go in here. Go to edit, place anything down. Place something down. Delete it. Oh, I didn't delete it, but that's okay. Go to five, because that's where I want to go to. And then 
You can see they have a little snare up here, but they, it's secret. They can't find that anywhere else. It's like, what the heck, guys? All right, so. So I like to add a little, some snare rolls. That's not a snare. Let's try that. Okay. Play some random ones, it always sounds good. It's anywhere, it doesn't really matter. Usually the snares ride with the young people, you know? People love the snares. So much bounce adds to it. Oh crap, we missed the whole section, guys. Alright, add some more snares. Good snares. Gouda Gouda cheese. Alright. Some nice snares here and there. Don't need that. Alright. That's nice, guys. You see the bounce now? Slaps, dude, it slaps. All right, the next thing, the final thing you gotta add, make sure you add it, is give it your own signature. You gotta add your own little melody. Boo! 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 All right, and then you can tune it however much you want. Make sure you add a lot of this. Now that now it adds like now it sounds like a real thing. And basically, what you can do, so what I like to do is I like to take the main melody, which is this. Copy it in here. Hear how this sounds now. Put it up an octave. There we go. Adds a lot to it. You can compress it a lot, put a lot of, not a lot of trouble, but make sure it has a lot of bass, because you want that good stuff. Now, a lot of reverb, so here it is. See how much has changed now? Now one more thing you want to add is, I don't know where it is, I'm going to add it. This is the distortion. Make sure it has a lot of distortion. Now you can hear how good it sounds. Now you can hear it. Yo, nice this sound, guys. Let me get rid of this. See how boring it is now? I don't know, well, what happened to this freaking snare, guys? I mean, this freaking crash. Oh, whoops. I did it to the wrong thing. Oh. Oopsies, guys. I messed up. I meant to do it to the... Regular thing. That's why it was like that. Whoopsies. Okay. So distortion. Let's just turn all this off. Yeah. Yeah. Let's hear it. Get rid of this first. There we go. All right. Now we actually gotta do this to the sample. The right thing. All right. Compress it. Uh, not a lot of treble. A lot of bass. A lot of echo. A lot of reverb. Plugins and EQs. Uh, get that distortion up in there. Make sure you distort it all the way, guys. Make sure you turn everything up, though. You still gotta be able to hear it. No, look at how much that slaps now, boys. Let me get rid of it. See how boring it is now? Like, what the frick? What happened? 
but with the click of one button, watch how it goes from bad to amazing. Oh my god. It slaps, dude. Look. Flippin' snaps. Slap, snap, snap, snap. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much the beat. Uh, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this little pump type beat. And make sure you tweet at little pump to see if you'll like this beat. Maybe he'll make a song with it. So yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This one was pretty good. I liked uh, how it turned out. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, like my comments. Make sure you follow me on uh, MySpace. May I'll accept you because you guys are cool and I'm cool too. So yeah, guys, so cool guys unite with me, Wizard Kid DJ. And I'm back and I'm black and I'm better than I ever was. Bye bye, guys.